In this demonstration, we're going to show how BCP can be used to manage a collaboration for sales forecasting. Like many typical forecasting processes, there's opportunities associated with different accounts that you'd like to be able to collect from multiple sales reps, along with additional information about the opportunities, including calculations that say I want to be able to take a forecast amount times a probability closed and then come up with a weighted forecast. But the question is, is how do you support a process like this without cutting and pasting and emailing if you want it so that the reps only see their rows and yet you as the owner see the roll up of all the data? Well, the answer is the Boardwalk Collaboration Platform. BCP gives you the ability through what's a, a plugin that gets installed inside of Excel and we're a Microsoft certified partner. This plugin gives you the ability to say, I'd like to be able to take this information and share it through a database. But there's no creating of a schema or creating of data tables. You literally do what we call a link export of this information and say, manage this through the database, keeping track of who I am when I interact with the data. And what's more, add access control to it so that rep one, rep two, rep three, et cetera, only see their rows of data. And yet you as the manager see everything because you'd like to be able to drive your reports, see the, the way the different data rolls up across different sales reps in the different states, but you need to be able to collect the data from the individual users. So what the users see is the data you want to be able to manage as part of your collaboration process, and then what we call a template. And a template is this information on the top, much like any other Microsoft template, although there's some buttons on top of this that say, how do I share my information? How do I see how the information has changed over time? And then some other utilities in order to manage the data. Well, this is the manager view. So let's take a look at what the individual rep one would see. So if I come over here and I say, download my template, and now I'm going to log in as rep one. And what happens is it says, well, what templates are available? And of course, this could come directly from SharePoint. It could be any processes, basically just getting access to the template. And it says, here's the data that rep one is going to see. So as you can see, and let me go ahead and do a save as for this, and I'll call this rep one. So we have this data locally available. Rep one is only seeing their rows of data. So the manager sees everything, but rep one only sees their rows. And you'll notice that it's not like the rows are hidden. They're actually not inside the Excel file. So BCP gives you access control to control what data people see at a row by row basis. And now that I have this information down as rep one, I can come in and make changes and say, well, let's say I want to make this be 165,000. And um, I'm going to go ahead and change the opportunity close to be 0.7. And then let's say I want to add a new one in here. So I can say insert a new one. And I can say I'm going to call this be uh, Intel. And of course, I'm rep one. This is US East. Um, it's products. And I think this is going to be 190,000. And I think this is going to close in June. This is an opportunity, and it's 0.8%. So you see I'm doing all this work. I'm not connected to the internet per se. I'm just working inside of Excel. And now I'm ready to share my changes. I've added a new row, and I've made some updates to this data value. Well, how do you do that with BCP? Well, you come up here, and you click on the Refresh and Submit button. And the Refresh and Submit button checks with the data that's being managed centrally inside the BCP server. And it says, have there been any changes to this shared range of data that's being managed as a collaborative process by anybody else that's not showing in my local spreadsheet? It says, no, there aren't any updates that are missing. So I can come in and say, OK, here are my changes. And as easy as that, I make a change. I submit it to the database. And now as soon as I do this, my changes are available for other users. So now if I come out and I say I'm going to log out and I'm going to switch back over here to the manager view, and now the manager says, well, I, I want to see if my reps have made any changes. And I say I'm now the manager at Acme.com. And the manager says, hey, have there been any changes? Well, yeah, there's been an update. So it says the change was done. There's one that's been missing. You can come in and say, well, you know, show me what that change is. And you can see right here telling me that there was an update that was done by rep one that's not reflected in my sheet. And then there was also the update done by the admin. And I can say, well, bring this change in so I can see this inside my file. So if I say refresh my file, this change comes in. And here's the new row that we just added. 
And here's the data value where you can see it's changed from 155 to 165,000. So with BCP, you're able to have multiple people working independently. You'll notice that the new row came in exactly where you would expect it to be. Existing data values are changed and updated at a cell level without overwriting. So if I'd made changes over here, when this new data came in, it wouldn't overwrite this data. In fact, I can come in and say, well, you know, show me a, how this data has changed over time. And I can say, well, give me an update of all the changes that have been done to this cell over the last any period of time. In this case, I said the last week. And it says, well, it used to be 155, now it's 165. Well, it used to be 148. So you're able to not only have the most current information, but you're able to take an individual cell and go back and see how it's changed over time. You're able to take an individual row and say, show me how all the data in this row has changed over the past week. And now this is saying, you know, how did my forecast change and who did the change and what were the different updates for this particular account, which means you can very easily create waterfall forecast accounts to see how data values have changed over time. You can even go back and say, you know what, I want to understand how this entire spreadsheet looked over any period of time. And I can say, show me the changes over the past week, and then go back and grab a specific one from a specific time and say, you know what, I want to understand the differences between the update that Rep1 did at this period and this period. So say, compare these two changes, and then as quickly as that, the database will go in and will say, well, what was the difference between the previous update by Rep1 and the current update by Rep1? So with BCP, you have the ability to automatically see how has the data changed over time, what have the different data updates been, and most importantly, what is the current data? And with the current data being automatically consolidated, this means you're able to go in and say, well, you know, what's my rep forecast look like? Maybe I just want to see a, the sales category for support. Or maybe I want to be able to look at it by opportunity. Or maybe I want to be able to look at it by needs analysis. And of course, we're leveraging some of the capabilities of the Excel 2010 for being able to do some slicing for the data. But all of this information and all this data management is being done inside of Excel. And you're able to keep the flexibility that you've grown accustomed to inside of Excel. And this is very important because let's say, for example, you want to change the way your process was run. So I can say, well, I'm going to go ahead and unprotect this sheet as the process owner. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to add a column in here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to collect forecast comments. I'm going to say, please fill this in. So now I'm basically making a structural change to the database inside this file as the manager. And I'm saying, I want to go ahead and update the database. There haven't been any changes with this change. So I'm going to say, new items for you to fill out and now push this back as a change out to the database. <coughs> well, as soon as that's done, then all the other reps that are collaborating over this, so now if I switch back over to rep one, when they come in and say, well, great, I wanna see you know, what the latest data is from the forecast, it tells me that there's been a change, and now when I refresh this out here, lo and behold, that com column that I just added shows up inside this spreadsheet with the new column added to the data structure. And this is very significant because this means that you can take data from back-end systems, you can integrate it with the Boardwalk collaboration platform, you can shift the rows and columns that you see at any time. You already saw me add new rows, but if you wanted to have a forecast horizon that had maybe six months of data and then have that automatically change, with BCP, you're able to manage data at a cell level using Excel that everybody likes to use today. And couple that with the patented Boardwalk Collaboration Platform server to enable data management between multiple users and systems on your desktop.